Hello, my pretties. It is Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. <gasps> Weather is day. That's right. I put my ma my mask in the refrigerator this morning. <sighs> but I am here uh, with some stuff. But before we get into that, let's get into the informational portion of this video. For anyone who is new here, hi, I'm Gladys on this channel. I mainly do unboxings like Ipsy, Boxy Charm, Fat Fit Fun. Um, on Tuesdays, I do a get ready with me called a mind time where I essentially get ready for the day. But I do it in silence and I leave all my thoughts of the products till the end. Another thing I do on this channel, which is my most favorite, is mystery boxes. Mystery boxes are really, really, truly my favorite. And I might have some additional information come next month about that. Um, but they are my favorite. Why it's best bang for your buck? Two, you get to try something new, something different, something you may not have wanted to try or even give, give them a thought about. But they are my favorite and I love them so much that I have created my own mystery box and I do mystery box giveaways on this channel. September's is right back here just waiting for the end of the month for its winner. If you would like a chance to win just start with this video right up here and good luck. Now, if you like me and my content and not just a chance to win, do all those things YouTube would like you to do, and I would so appreciate if you could do. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button as well, because uh, I'm trying to grow the channel. And the more I grow, the more I can get, and the more I can give. And giving feels just as good as getting a mystery box. Now, I do have to say that if you don't like me or my content or a chance to win, just move on to the next video. We all do it. We all know we do it. It's okay. All I ask is that you don't leave a nasty message because no one's got time for that shit. With that said, let's get into the first thing I have. Hold on. have a stack of boxes behind me but my first one is from boxy charm which one is this I don't know they both came today and I don't know which one is which as much as a surprise it is for you as it is for me so all right this one is premium without actually looking into the box you know blue means premium and here are the items inside now boxycharm premium is 35 dollars a month you get six to seven but it's usually just six items full-size items uh and let's just get in here Right here is the theme. It is BTS, the, the K-pop group. I don't know. What does what else does BTS stand for? I don't know. All right, my first item was a choice item for myself, but it is from Fenty Beauty. This is the snapshot mix and max eyeshadow. Palette. This retails for $25. This is in uh, two cool neutrals. Here it is, number two. And this might seem a little bit familiar. For those who know, I just bought this for my birthday haul 
back in July. Have not used it yet. And honestly, I was uh, not too impressed with the choice options this month. So I was just like, hmm, I can get this. I can use mine and put this one in a future giveaway. So let me go get mine. Here is mine. I have not swatched this yet either. But let me put my fingers in the heads. Why did I choose this one? Um, ooh, that felt nice. Um, it has purple. And if you can't already tell, <laughs> I love me some purple. But it does have other colors in here to uh, help you if you're not to be you know, on too much purple. But here are the first three that felt fabulous. It just felt like a cream. Ooh, could, can you see that as like a monochromatic look? Mm-hmm, I can. This purple is not doing well. Here are this, here's the second row. This purple didn't, I had to put two swipes to get that to, to that. Mm. I don't know. But we will give this a try. Okay, sorry, my husband has called me. We are currently working on something coming up and we're in the spitball phase right now. But that was 25. That purple looked a little sketchy. I hope it applies better with a brush. Here's the hoping. My next item is from Laura Mercier. This is the Balancing Foaming Cleanser. Again, this was my choice item. I don't have any skincare from Laura Mercier. I just didn't even know they had skincare. But there it is. This retails for $30. Does this mean that yes, I have to start another skincare collection? Yes, that does. But it's okay. I don't mind. I love skincare. My next item is from Hey Honey. This is the Trick and Treat Berry Lip Balm with Natural Tint. This retails for $23. It's just a lip balm. It's not. Um, I'm going to say as pretty as this color is, it's just a, a tint. And I saw Yari G. She makes me laugh. Uh, unbox her, her PR one and she did get this and it had no color. As dark as this is, it had no color. So, and I have plenty of lip balms, plenty. So this is gonna go into a future giveaway. Ooh, this is heavy, whatever this is. Oh, this is from Herbivore. This is the Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask. I got something from Urban War last week, last month, didn't I? Yes, it was that oil. But here it is. I have something to add to that set. This retails for $48. It looks kind of, oh, it kind of looks like snot. Oh, that doesn't smell good at all. It's like, I don't know, swamp water. Okay, and living in New Jersey, I know, South Jersey, I know what's swamp water, okay? But there it is in my hand. And it feels like snot. Looks like snot. Uh, but I will give this a try. I will add this to my 
my you know making up set and next item if is from complex culture this is the sonic t-bar facial massager retails for $58 oh she's waiting I can tell you that much and it is a look she's got some heft to her but not too heavy but I know I am not going to use this I have my little jade roller and uh, that's about all I, I use really to help with the puffiness and also it feels good um, I know I'm not going to use this so this is going to go into a future giveaway as well my last item was featured on was it last week's mime time? Yes, it was last week's mime time. Ugh. Not this actual product, but the brand. And I don't have this, but this is the Beauty Bakery uh, ba -ba -ba Milk and Honey Highlighting Palette. I like the honeycomb. And you slide it out. There you go. Oh, uh. This retails for $38. Oh. No mirror. Thank goodness. There that is. And I don't own any highlighters except for what came in the lemon bar. But that's like an icy yellow highlighter. So, yeah. I'm keeping this. Let's see. I have four big pans. If I was to, oh, I could depot these and put it with the other ones. But there they are. They are nice. But you have oak honey, which is a pink, a white pink, shifty. You have queen bean kind of coppery. You have a spoiler alert, which on my hand looks quite icy white, but in the reflection, it kind of looks bluish, purpley, sort of, I don't know. And then you have B Sweet, which is a peach. I, yeah, like, as I turn my hand, spoiler alert, kind of goes into, like, this pinky blue. Interesting. None of these look like they would be too light for me. I mean, hell, I used that icy yellow one in the lemon bar. And these are deeper in tone so yeah yeah use that and that is everything in my box so I'm holding on I'm I have this already so really I'm keeping three and giving three and that's a yay Two skincare, one, technically two makeup products that I'm keeping, but I don't mind. Okay, I could do without the lip balm and the massager, really. Hell, you could have replaced that massager with, I don't know, a hair product shampoo or conditioner on. Even like a body gel. I would take it. But not too... Because mm. you know what the problem is, right? Okay. The issue with like, these tools. 
you say, ooh, I'm going to give it a go. And then you end up with like 12 different tools to massage your face and you never use any of them. I'm just nipping it in the butt because I know I'm not going to use it because there are other things in my drawer. Did not get up to 12, but other things that I've been like, ooh, yeah, and I've rubbed it on my face and, and never picked up it ever again. Just because, you know, I have a job. And I'll sit there massaging my face all day. Interesting in theory, but really not actually feasible for, for a regular person. But yeah, that's, ah, I keep setting it up so I can take a picture and like, everything just keeps falling. But stay tuned for a get ready with me using my Fenty uh, Beauty eyeshadow, the highlighter palette. That's about it. <laughs> with that, I'm going to go so we can move on to the next box and I will see you in the next one.
finished look. What do you think? Pink or purple? I like both looks. I like the smokiness of both. Maybe the lip that I created helps with the smoky. But I love it. I love it. Now, to the actual products though. I use this one and this one. This one here. It's not the same. It's just not the same. And here, again, that's not the same color. I've tried, you know, I always use my glitter glue. And it, and it does hold on to the glue just fine. But it's not giving you that pop. I even tried, you know, wetting it and foiling it. Still no pop. I, I like both looks. I like the smoky, vampy look that I've got with both, but it's just not, it doesn't have that pop. Um, this ended up being lighter than I thought it would be. It's kind of like a base shade. And then this one got kind of weird as I was blending it out. There was just like this patch on both sides that it was just gone. I don't know. I will play with this some more because I'm really interested in trying this color with just this. Please do. Um, but as of right now, would I purchase another one of these? No. I mean, I will still play with it. It's not giving me the oh bam that I want. Now this Milk and Honey palette. Okay, so on my cheekbone, I just did this. I don't see it anywhere, but maybe you see something I don't, but I don't see it. This one, it's on my brow bone and inner corner, and that is not. I can't wait to give these two a try. I'm still going to use it. I, I still like me a highlighter, okay? But so far, the two colors that I use, it's 50 50. Love the one. The other one, where is it? But what do you think? Hmm, I still like, both eyes are really pretty. Okay, let me, let me go. <laughs> I can just stare at myself, not in a conceited way, but it, it's a pretty kind of way. Um, all right, I will see you in the next one.